I don't know. I don't like technology. I don't like technology. And they got me this app for my phone, the talk to text app, you guys. You know, the, the app, like, they got it a couple years ago where you talk and it texts what you say. It's supposed to text what you say. So I'm texting the third grade teacher. Thank you, Mrs. Rappenchalk. It's going to be a great school year. What it texted was, I hate my mother and I have a yeast infection. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been in a car with a kid and you're talk texting and you think you hang up and you keep talking and it keeps texting and it keeps texting and then you look at your phone and you can't untext it? Anyone ever had that happen? I'm talking to the realtor. I'm like, thank you, Mr. Thompson. I enjoy working with you. Don't make me come back there. I will spank you so hard. You won't even know your name. Oh, you don't believe me? I'm coming over there right now. What do you do? LOL. Spanking emoji. What do you do? He wrote me back, you guys. He said, thank you, Ms. Pomeroli. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> now, if he had money, that would be a great story, wouldn't it? <laughs> when God writes your love story. <laughs> so I've been a single mom for eight years. Are there any single moms out there tonight? Make some noise. What's up? You guys want to go out later? You want to hit Walmart? What's up? <laughs> no. No, we are not hitting Walmart to meet a man, okay? If I meet a man at Walmart, we cannot date because we cannot be both broke enough to be shopping at Walmart. Don't you hit on me at Walmart unless your Mercedes broke down and you buying a Coke, all right? We can't both be buying the clothes, all right? That can't be happening. I love Walmart. I'm, I, I, lo I, want, I go in there for nose spray and I come out with a pool. I don't know every time, right? Okay, but so I've been a single mom for eight years, and I know the pandemic is hard, but I, I, I do have an announcement since I've seen you guys. I do. I have a man in my life for the last three years. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I didn't get to tell you about this, Pastor. Um, he's, he's a dentist, and I love him, and he loves me. It's like it's been three years now, and I see him every six months, and it, he is just... He's... He's so romantic. He writes me postcards and he like says, come see me, you know, come see me. Like every, like we have a date and then he's always leaning in to kiss me. Like every time he's like, we get really close, but we're waiting cause we're Christian, you know? <laughs> and he always makes me cry cause of the laughing gas and stuff, but it's really, <laughs> yes, that's so sad. That is so sad cause that's my love life right there. <laughs> I don't have a man, but I do have Netflix and a heating pad. So it's kind of, some of you get that. And then some of you single women are like, that's sad, but it's not really. It's really because I have Netflix and Hulu. So I feel very contented. I mean, can I be real? I really don't. I, I don't, I don't date because I don't want to take a shower and, you know, I don't want to go online and lie. I don't want to go online and be like, I like hiking and all that stuff you do to get married. That's what you do when you're dating. You lie, lie, lie till they marry you. And the men pretend that they like Bed Bath & Beyond on the weekends. And you pretend like you like football. And then you get married. That's what, that's what dating is, okay? It's just ridiculous. And I don't really want a man who wants to go hiking. I just want to know if you want to come over to my house. And do you also like to watch The Crown and Cobra Kai and eat ice cream while we watch Biggest Loser, okay? That's all I want to know. And do you have a 401k? And do you snore okay that's it and I don't really care if you snore you can have your own room okay I know how that works I married the first time for love girls and I don't recommend marrying for love don't do it you marry for old money I'm telling you that's what you gotta somebody's got to tell the truth I'm I'm married for love. I married a comedian with no car, and now my kid's dental plan is chew on the other side, okay? So, and he's living at my house right now, y'all. That's a prayer request.